explore and today we're doing this place which you can see on the TV and we're going to have a look. Now this place was, is called the Thalman House in 1826, also known as Walton's Park House and it was built by This is a remnant of the static caravan that sat outside. As you can tell, it's not much left. It's been burnt very badly, and obviously, kids have been around and things like that. And I think it's more or less what the farmer has. He has problems with the kids. Let's do anything there. There's a few collapses. There's roofs going in. So this place is actually like, this is the door, the front door to the house. But as you can tell there's barbed wire on the, the fence, right on the, on the door to stop people getting in. On the other side we've got two more other large safes, small safe and large safe. Both fully sealed by the looks of things so it just makes you wonder what's in them. But genuinely you find this, this safes are actually open. And then there's a nice archway there. But as you can see the inside of it's pretty stripped out. So, uh, yeah, I'll have a look and see what we can get inside and have uh, another mosey about. And I'm sliding a bit over the place again. So there used to be things lying about here, apart from like, what's left of the caravan, there used to be bikes lying around here. And it looks like something's nicked it. on some of the buildings. Like I said, uh, that window, bay windows fell to the out. I do wish I could the house used to look. And uh, long before it burnt down, it actually burnt down in 2005. Uh, and there's sort of speculations behind the stories here. There was a tramp living in here, uh, using it like one stop away, uh, and they thought he'd actually died in the fire in the house. And he was found on a doorstep in a, a nearby uh, town sleeping. But it seemed his gas fire that he was keeping himself warm with was what actually set the house on fire. So it's a B listed house, and for it to be destroyed in that way is actually it's a shame. But we'll have a look more. The two safes that they saw when they opened through the window. They seem to be in a bad state. Even though there's no one there. They seem to be pretty rusted, I'm pretty sure. But the safe drawers lying about. I think that's to do with this safe here, which I'll locate. So, there's a huge, huge safe here. But this is like a staircase, so it's not going all the way up. Still like remnants of like some of the pictures and fittings in. That looks like a chandelier shaft down there. There's a chandelier shaft or something. It's not a railing for the thing, so it's definitely a chandelier. I'm trying to try and get into bits which are okay. Uh, We'll see, as you can see, the fence are actually falling away from the wooden fence here because it's so badly damaged. So that's going to cause an awful lot of things. And the bed there. So yeah, that safe is unbelievably big. And there's the air cool there. So the parts of the house, I don't know, some parts of the house we'd be un unable to get to. That's down here, what it is. I think it's something to do with a fireplace or something. And it's really windy today and I should have had to my phone, turn on my phone.
small trunk. You can see the word there. See the handles at the side. It's a metal trunk or some kind. Turns from the workshop. I do have another camera, but for some reason it's not holding the charge on it. So. If I can get enough charge when I'm downstairs in the dark, I'll try and use the night vision on that and pop it to the top. So we just walk through this archway, and this is the back of the house. And this is obviously where the cell areas are, and also where you can use chairs and tables. And but this is the workshop. Uh, this is where Savison, Henry Savison, actually built his first car. First car in Scotland. And here we go. So there's also been a bit collapse in here. Just generally drunk in the fridge. And stuff. Not junk lying about. This also had an attic roof on it, so there's a ladder running up the side there. And then obviously the one that's through here. This was an old stable block. See the old stalls. It's not quite hard to see guys. Stalls in the uh, stables. So that the horses, the horses looking after the guy looking after the ground of the horses. But there's probably like I said been a lot of collapses in here. There you go, this was the workshop, this is where the car was built. And I doubt there'd be any remnants of the cars in here. It's kind of hard to get in about these things out, but they don't want to be walking on the bed because that's quite badly rotted. But we'll have a little wander on and see what else we can see. There's obviously old stuff there. Sometimes. And as always, you either get a toilet or you get a bath and gas canisters. So this is obviously the outside of the stables, as you can see. Yeah, it's quite a big site, but it's a good one to walk around in. This would be an attack room. That's for hanging your tack on, your saddles on. seems to have lost some sheep and he's just dumped it. I'm sure there's a law against that. I'm sure he has to dispose of the property without being able to find him out. So we're we'll investigating that one. I'm going to wander around here. This is actually the back of the house. This is actually the basement area. As you can see right up there, there's been that's upstairs, that's a good collapse. The doors are gone. The doors are gone completely up there. This takes you down to the side of the house. If there's any access in there, but we'll try and get in from inside. Have a look at it. So 
this would be the side staircase going up to the, the house which is also bad wired up and we're going to have a nosy down the side here I was going to try and get a night vision inside here but my car the camera's died on me so we're going to I'm going to do this with the torch for a change now see that's that's really interesting there's a box down there if I can see this torch on it it says the pioneer now that's what uh, the guy that did the, the car and built the car Scotland's first car Salveson that's what he was nicknamed the pioneer genius and pioneer so lots of thingy gadget in here but put a link into the description and you can go and check out the, 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 the page that tells you all information about this place and about all the things on the history side of things. So I'm going to have a in here. These are the drive belts, so they're probably used for the steam powered car. Because uh, obviously we had to move the wheels somewhere in another. And hence, hoses. Yeah, the, the old boxes, they're all dating back to the original place. I'm safe enough from here because this is uh, thingy. This has actually got a concrete ceiling. So, I'm safe enough. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> so, there you go. It says the Pioneer, and that was what Salveson, Henry Salveson's name was nicknamed. He was a pioneer and he was a genius for building the first car. There's also other stuff in here. Although some of the stuff is probably new. There's also old boxes there with signs and everything. I'll have a look in the next room and see what it's like. Even if you go see the, the room by there, yeah. there's some really early car tyres. Yeah, so that's, that's the hand crank for the car. And then it just shows you. Uh, the stuff that's actually in here. I'll show you this. Oh, there's a lot of belts and things in here. The boxes. Oh, car tyres. Yeah, they've got your cars from like the 60s or something like that. There's a lot of belts. And... So... I'm going to attempt to go and do something. I'm going to attempt to go in the next part of the house. There's a tire here. See? A wee buggy tire. Oh my god. See that? Right, guys, this is like what the collapses are like in here. champagne up there because that's totally gone I'm not getting into this going over so if you look at the joints on them those joints are actually quite rotted Said guys, you can see where all the collapses have been. It's been like loads of collapses in here. Now this looks like it's possibly in a kitchen or something at one point. But yeah, look. I can actually see it. Help. No me, sitting on the wall. Help. Help. So, 
This is probably actually the furthest I've ever got in the house. This is where all the, the gems are. There's all the boxes and little tiny little things. I'll be back in some progress in here. This will be a boiler house of some kind. Some sort of workshop as well. It's all usual things, isn't it? It's, not really, um, it's a horrible smell in here, though. But it's all good. So, there's lots of old stuff going on down here. So, there's always these nice, interesting doors because it's a cell. This would have been a sound in the walls. Look, what's left of my old oil thing? That's been off one of my lamps. So that's great. It's good to see these wee things in these crates. Isn't it? So we'd have quite an extensive wine cellar at one point. Looks like it's been a lot of vandals in here as well. I mean, see, look at that, that's an old barge bottle. A really old barge bottle. Let's see what these old bottles are. That's the stoppers on them, they've all got the old stoppers. This is actually going to be a good one for me because, this is, like I said, this is the first time I've had actually come in here. Happy New Year, everyone! <laughs> oh, you bastard, deal! As you can tell, I eventually got Pajelico back. This, he seems to like scaring me, and unfortunately, I'm good for dark places. So I think we'll tackle the stairs now, and I'll tell you a wee story about the place. Tackle the stairs. Nice lock on the door, though. Like I said, it is actually pretty unsafe in here. I promise no risks, so. So look, there's all weird things in here. I'm not going any further on there because I, I just looked at that ceiling as well. But, Right, I'll tell you a story about this place. The old guy that lived in here uh, had been robbed one night, or well, they tried to rob him one night, and they wouldn't. He wouldn't open the safe for the the guys. So what they done was actually cut his fingers off. Now this is it's a bit of a speculation story, but uh, apparently this is what happened. Stairs are solid enough, but I just don't like the look of the roofs. Yeah, if you get a wee look outside the window, that's a level way up. So you have a wee view out. Lock up 
Yeah, it's square. I'm just telling them more of the skip. Switch hands, guys. So you get the gate at the top. So there you go. The just of this. Right, that's one of the wooden floors, so I'm gonna stay on the concrete side of it. But there's the inside. And it collapses. Also to the top of the house. So I'll just head back downstairs and it's a bit like a hell of a scalp going down because look at that. Right back down. Right down you go. It is actually pretty sloppy. Brave. Okay. Right, so since we Jericho did this with that, I think I'll take a trip and attack it out, but then I'm probably a lot heavier than the case. So I'm going by look at some of the beams downstairs. It's Just to have a look and see how bad it is. You can also tell there's still stuff here, there's still boxes, and it's mostly boxes that have been stored in here. A few nice units, but I'll attempt to go back there because I don't like being in here. It's like a hell of a scale. So that gives you an idea, we just walked along there. Some of the beams are actually good, some of the beams are actually hot. watching guys uh remember to like and share and i hope you all have a really really good new year and you don't get too drunk and i'll see you in 2019 for many more exports uh this is our bikers signing out mm -hmm.